Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once more and we're apparently building up a little bit, small bit of a streak. And we're playing as regular old Apollyon, which I think is a character we haven't actually got too many completion marks knocked off as. So we can go Dark Path or we can go Mother. It depends. I can't remember. Did we do Mother last? I can't remember the last time we did Mother. It might have been the last run, honestly. I don't remember. It all blends into one now. <laughs> Isaac has just become part of my subconscious brain. It is now within me, and it will, will always forever be within me. <laughs> I honestly, like, that's that's something that, like, I've been asked a few times by other content creators or, like, just people in general. It's like, when will you stop playing Isaac? I genuinely have no idea. Because it's like, right now, we're in sort of the... I, I, it's kind of the Isaac lull, by the way. I think this is a thingy floor. Um, Excel. Yeah, it is. Um, we're kind of in a little bit of a lull where Repentance has has been out for a long time now. It's been out over a year. And while there is some cool mods coming out here and there, there's nothing substantial releasing at the moment. Um, so we're kind of in an Isaac lull at the minute, which definitely, like, drives up the boredom a little... I won't say boredom, but drives up the... Um, I don't know. It, it, gets, it gets a little bit more tedious, a little bit less enjoyable as time goes on, but nothing... Like, in very, 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 very minor amounts. It's not, like, a, a big thing, sort of thing like that. Um, I'll definitely go for a look upgrade here for one bomb. It seems very worth it. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of gotten to that point a little bit. But, like I said, it's only minor. I still, I'm still very much enjoying the game. But what people are still may not be thinking about is, even though I've not been a fan of it in the past, it's not really been my style of mod, Fiend Folio is going to come out at some point. And I definitely will do a series on it. I don't know how long it'll be. I don't know if it'll be part of the main series or not. And then there's Revelations, which might get ported at some point too. And it's just kind of like, that's going to be like a whole new era. A whole new era of repentance and modding in general, where there's just going to be so much new content to go at. Fiendfolio, the only reason I, I previously haven't liked it is, for me, it was a little bit overwhelming, the amount of content it added. But... I might be a little more used to it now that we've been playing with content mods for a while. Just generally might be more used to it. We'll see how it goes. I definitely want to give it a go when it comes out. And it might end up being that it gets um, attached to the main series. And then that will add so many more hours. But yeah, in um, on, on that sort of note, what, um, what mod are you waiting for? In terms of either something that you've uh, seen before in Afterbirth Plus, or something you thought of that you can't believe isn't made, or a mod like that that you're really looking forward to. It doesn't even have to be one for Isaac. Just what's the... Really? Really? That's a perfect drop, and I can't get any of it. What's what's a mod that you're, like, desperately waiting for? For any game, really. Um, it'd be really interesting to know. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll keep these guys segregated. Keep these guys separate. I think we're pretty good here. By the way, I didn't mention, we got shielded tears here. Very, very nice grab. I swear, Lucky, does Lucky Cold do anything? Because <laughs> it never seems to drop any extra stuff. Like... Look at the amount of fires we've destroyed there. Compared to, like, Petrified Poop, where it gives you basically one for every single poop you destroy. It's not that... It's not that lucrative, to be honest. I don't know if it actually does anything. <laughs> I can't tell. It might, it might not. I guess we'll never find out. But, by the way, I do want to mention as well, in the last episode I mentioned about um, finally updating um, Ipecac. They actually pushed out another update, literally the day after... To address some of the uh, the bugs that I've been finding. Um, so not only are Dom Mix fixed, but a bunch of the trinkets and items that weren't working correctly are fixed. The Flyboy costume is fixed. There's just some lovely, lovely stuff going on there. So very, very nice to see. Um, very welcome changes. And also I think the performance, I don't know, it seems to be a little more stable. Although that might just be because my modding setup is a little less intense now. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, um, we're going to continue on trying to try and get into this item room. I'd really have loved to have gotten at least one of the soul hearts that's trapped. Uh, just to give us a bit more security for our devil deal. I don't actually want to go get devil deal, but getting it means we get an angel deal next floor, or at least can. So, at the minute, it's still at risk. Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls is an interesting one. Because it's not... Okay, that was horrible. Mr. Boom. It's not really a good one for us to, to void. 
I, I don't mean to be actually picking this up. Yeah, it's not really a good thing for us to void, I'll be honest. Just because um, it's a two-room charge and it's an item that can deal damage to you. Like with the Mr. Boom there. If I don't notice it drops the Mr. Boom, there's going to be issues. So I don't think I'm going to suck that up, which is a little bit of a shame. Considering it's kind of the whole point of void. But at the same time, I'm kind of okay with it. Because like I said, I think it would be a little bit of a bad idea. Anyways, let's, let's check this out. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Lucky Cold does anything. Like, that's a lot of fires we've destroyed. Like, not even a penny yet. Not even a single penny. Seems a little odd. Okay, so we do have two bosses, of course. I kind of forgot about that. Um, shouldn't be too bad. I kind of want to use a bomb on this guy to speed up the fight. But I know that I shouldn't because if I get, like, a much more difficult boss, I'd probably rather have the two bombs for that after. So I'm going to save them for now. I'd kind of rather take out um, the little guy first. I always tend to try and do that, but it is a little difficult. With Shielded Tears, it's a bit easier because I can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him a little more. Normally, you can't really just stand in front of him because the shielded uh, the, the tears that he fires are going to hit you. But now we can go kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. That was close. <laughs> okay, it looks like we are just going to have to kill this guy. It does worry me a little bit because this guy's sporadic. He's not too bad. Like, I don't always get hit by him. But there is some situations in which it th you think you're not going to get hit by him. And then you miraculously do. We got Mr. Dolly here with the Apollyon skin on it, which gave us three black hearts. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so we didn't end up getting a boss that needed a bomb. One second. Okay, we're back. Yeah, getting three black hearts from Mr. Dolly is just about the best payout you can ask for. I don't think I've ever had it do that before. I'm going to try a bomb here. It hit one segment. I just want to speed up the fight a little bit. I know it's not a hard fight. I'm not likely to get hit, but it's just it takes a while. Is this the guy that drops a soul heart too? I'm not actually sure. I'm not actually sure. Yeah, we don't want to enter our devil deal here. I, held, I mean, I held this better now, but it's still not perfect. I'd still rather not. Yeah, this guy did drop one. Jesus Juice is still a little bugged for some reason. I'm not quite sure why that is, but I'll take it. And yeah, we won't enter our devil deal. We'll head on down. Um, let's go to the let's go to downport just in case we decide we might want to go to Mother. I haven't really decided yet, so I guess we'll uh, decide this floor. Because at the minute our run's pretty good. I'd like one more fire upgrade to make me sort of feel solid because Shielded Tears is good, but early game it can be a little rough because it does technically remove your abilities to hit enemies with some tears so it can be a little rough but hopefully not too bad there is a nice little um reflected golden chest there which could be kind of interesting and the shop as well but yeah fiend folio is it is definitely a mod that i'm uh that i'm gonna be playing i did play it for, for a good amount of time when it first came out but yeah at the time it was just like a really overwhelming amount of content. I think for me, the biggest thing that kind of um, put me off a little bit was the room design philosophy was a little skewed, in my opinion, to being very, um, very claustrophobic and very small rooms with a lot of rocks, which I kind of understand because they have the new rock textures, they wanted to show them off. And also when you implement new enemies, um, obviously you're going to have to add new rooms and that does mean that there's going to be some cramped rooms and stuff, especially when you added, I think it was like 10,000 rooms. There's going to be some problematic ones in there, of course. But yeah, I, I felt like I came across them a lot. Also, the hive variation of basement, I felt was very, very difficult for where it showed up in the game. Um, other than that, though, some really cool enemy designs and stuff. And of course, the fact that they've been working out for Repentance means they're probably going to have overhauled a lot of the stuff that was wrong with the first version and added a whole lot more to the alt paths. So... I'm really excited. The only thing about it that I will say I'm not excited for is I, f I feel like it's probably going to lack compatibility with um, with a lot of other mods, unfortunately. Um, especially ones that add more enemies and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, having the spiders and the, the leeches here was kind of difficult, but otherwise a very easy room. <laughs> I don't know if you saw what happened there, but the Rotten Tomato hit that enemy and they all decided to throw at that one guy. I mean, that is literally what Rotten Tomato does, but I still found that quite funny. Okay, this guy's a bit of a pain, bit of a nuisance. Having him with Rotten Tomato is, is really good, actually. 
Yeah, these leeches, when they're on uh, watery ground, can be a real pain in the ass. I think we've seen everything we need to see here. We do have bombs again here, and I will use them. Especially on a boss like Min Min, who can be an absolute pain. Just getting him into his second phase is enough for me to be happy. There we go. Lovely. And then Stapler is pretty good. Okay, if we can get another bomb, then I'll definitely go. I, I realized that I did just spend a bomb that I didn't really have to on that boss fight, knowing that I needed to get through. But going through the mirror dimension should should give us the ability to get another bomb, regardless. Um, our shop doesn't really have anything of value, unfortunately. In fact, we could buy a sack and try and get a bomb that way. Unfortunately, didn't get it. Sacks are fairly likely to drop them, but unfortunately this time we weren't so lucky. I could also maybe go for this, but I'd need to... I suppose I wouldn't have to use a bomb, actually. In fact... Will this kill me? It did not. Good. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Unfortunately, still didn't get the bomb we were looking for. We got air bomb there. Not not the right type of bomb, but we got air bomb there. Okay, so we'll head through. Go and get our um, thingy piece, key piece. I think it sends a fire rate and stuff. We're doing pretty well here. Just exit this room and enter again. Moving box? I mean, I guess I'll suck up moving box. Wait, what? What? It gave me stats. I mean, I'll take it because I wasn't going to use it anyways, but shouldn't have that shouldn't that have sucked up the item rather than giving me stats? Because it's an active item, right? I'm not bizarre to think that, right? That's 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 not weird to think that. Okay, just be careful of these guys. Losing a holy mantle here wouldn't be great. We could go Min Min again, I guess. Okay, this guy being champion again is not great. Although it did distract you perfectly. Okay, just sit over the rocks and he can't hit us. Still no bomb. We're getting bomb drops, but they're not correct, which is problematic. So we're going to have to do an extra few rooms here to um, accommodate for this. So let's get you all to throw your buckets elsewhere. Come on, game. You're doing me dirty, game. You're doing me dirty. You've dropped me two bombs now, both of which were troll bombs. I don't really think that's the etiquette we're looking for here. Okay, this is a particularly difficult room for us. Wasn't so bad, actually. This could be the bomb that we need, or it could be crumpled ticket. Do you know what? I'm going to take crumpled ticket. Now we just get, um... I think... I don't know if we just get, but we get more, um... Scratch cards, which I think is interesting. The waterfalls still produce a lot of lag on this floor, unfortunately. That is a constant. Damn. Are we really not going to be able to get a bomb? Serves me right for using extra on the boss, I guess. Seems that way. Seems that way. Ooh, eck. That's a shame. That's a real shame. I'm not comfortable with doing the boss either, so... Yeah, that is a real shame. Can I do this? Can I just quickly... Flap. Stop with all the bombs. We got a thingy crimson chest there that we can't do anything with as well. Damn, this has been unfortunate. Okay, so I guess we're not doing Mother this run. I, I tried. I did try. Oh, I suppose... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a bomb from somewhere. Where did we get this bomb from? How long have I had that? How long have I been an idiot for? When did we get this bomb? I don't understand. Did I just get it for a room clear award from the cursed room? I have no idea. That's kind of wigging me out, that is. I'm confused. Hey, extra soul heart as well. That's really nice. Okay, yeah. I was going to say maybe we could look for secret room and get more bombs, but I guess the game is um, the game is paying it forward for us here. Thank you. We got a tainted guy there. Might play him. 
But yeah, crumple ticket we cannot drop. We should get a lot more scratch cards now. I don't think it's only scratch cards that we get in, in place of all cards. I think we do still get um, regular cards as well. But I think the chances for scratch cards are much higher. Okay, this guy is creating quite the kerfuffle for me here. He did also kill himself though. So that's fine. Good. Oh, I love it when that happens. The chain reaction. Beautiful. 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 But yeah, nice day today. So today I'm going to go out for a little bit, I think, and play some Pokemon Go. Also, me and my friend have a, a standing a standing date where we go to uh, Nando's on a Wednesday. And today is that sacred day. I'm excited. Brother Bobby, let's just suck. Yeah, I'm very glad I did there. We got fire rate and movement speed. One second. Okay, let's keep it going. Yeah, I'm going to say um, that's, that was pretty, a pretty good suck there. But yes, it is Nando's Day. A spicy Nandini's. I am very ready for it. I am very ready for it indeed. I needeth my Nando's. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to go do after this. I'm going to, like, go out a little early before, we, before we're meeting to play some uh, Pokemon Go. <laughs> Just because it's nice out, I might as well, like, have a bit of a walk around. Because work's a bit slow today, so I've got time to have a bit of a walk. Um, ooh, hello. Um, eh, no, thank you. A little bit too hard of a room for an item of that quality. Um, but yeah, so I've got a bit of time. So I'm going to go out a little earlier before, before I meet with him. Have a bit of a Pokemon Go around. And then uh, meet him for lunch. It's gonna be it's gonna be very good stuff. Thank you for firing bombs at all the enemies. Can you fire a bomb at yourself? Let me just check this. Okay, no. What? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> I was wondering what would happen because obviously the bomb counts as its own enemy. So I was thinking, hey, if I f get you to be angry like at other enemies, does that mean that the fly? will then try and attack yourself. And it very much does, surprisingly so. I wasn't sure if that would work, but it's an interesting little quirk. It's kind of like with um, a few bosses, especially Mother is one of them. Um, but, da, 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 nah, thank you. I can't even take it anyways. Uh, Mother is one of them where uh, if you hit certain segments of her with Rotten Tomato, uh, Rotten Tomato, whatever you want to call it, if you hit certain segments, it will actually... Um, whoa, that was a big bomb. Also... Yeah, if you hit certain segments, she'll actually kill herself. She'll do damage to herself. I I do hate the producing flies effect of this guy. There's also a tinted rock here as well. So many flies. So many flies. Good. Nice. A swift kill. Got some HP up and a trinket. The trinket not being... It's a cool trinket, but unfortunately not one we can use. And our angel deal is unfortunately not very good. I'm going to suck that as well. We got damage again. Oh. That was really stupid. That was really stupid. I don't know if you noticed what I did there, but I very much could have just... Sucked up the angel pieces. That was that was a little that was a little silly. I could have gotten myself some extra value out of that there, but unfortunately, I didn't. Also, I can get some extra value out of that too. What am I doing? I can suck up that item. Although, actually, that might trigger the room. Anyways, let's play this guy. See what we can get from him. He basically he can drop trinkets or crack keys. Okay. Um, or he can drop um, items from the Tainted Treasure Room mod. Like, I items that will turn into Tainted Treasure Rooms is what I mean by that. So we'll try and get that, because his loot pool is actually pretty spicy. I quite like the stuff that he can drop, so I'm down. I can also play that Blood Bank over there to get myself some extra money for this guy, if I need to. See? Sad Onion. Hey, and we can on the Ultra Secret Room. Awesome. Wasn't expecting that. BFF, unfortunately, not the best of all of them. But 
I think BFF is pretty good. Like it can it can uh, end up being a pretty clutch item. Um, I'll check my cash room. Why not? Unfortunately, not super worthwhile. At least we got out for free. Right. Did we have a battery within our shop? Actually, I don't need it now. What am I about? Anyways, let's let's just get going. Um, we're only on mines one. Okay. Remember, we don't have to get Knife Piece 2. By the way, the Eternal Champions mod did add an Eternal version of Mother's Shadow for the Mother Chase. I did tell the developer, I'm sorry, but I will never enter that 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 again. It's so laggy on a modded setup. and it, um, Oh, hello. It's an interesting positioning for that to be on. Um, it's so laggy on modded setups, and it's also just really tedious to have to do it every time, so I choose to skip it. I don't know why, by the way. I do have it set up so that these rooms shouldn't be showing up anywhere near as much as they are right now. Heaven's Call. Oh, it's, it's gone down to 20% again. Hmm. M maybe that didn't save correctly. I will definitely take this. But yeah, these, these rooms currently, in my opinion, are spawning way too often. Like, I really like them. I think they're very, very cool. But being able to get a guaranteed planetarium item every single run is a little bit too good, in my opinion. So, I'm hoping that the chances will actually save soon and we can quell that a little bit. This guy's hard. Oh, dude, this guy's tough. He's interesting, but he's tough. We've just about got him, though, here. He does have some slight glitching on his texture, though. Like, you can kind of see through him. He mega farted to end off his fight there. Perfect. Also, I love the way this room looks. So good. So, so good. Right. We need to be careful because, of course, we need to do mausoleum trade. So, we need a good amount of health to work with here, really. A few more soul hearts would do it. But yeah, I think now we've got a pretty reasonable setup. Especially with getting the item we just got. It's going to give us a lot more consumables. And we're actually kind of struggling for that, so I do not mind. Yeah, <laughs> they just instantly kill themselves. That's perfect. Come on. Rotten Tomato, where are you? And then the one it fires, I miss. Okay, there you go. Go. Shoot me if you dare. <laughs> That's perfect. I love that. Such a cool little quirk of this item. Rotten Tomato is just a really good item in general. Really cool. Really interesting. Little Girdster. Ah, I think we'll suck. I'm very happy with that fire rate and damage. I think that fire rate has gotten to the point where shielded tea is actually really, really good now. That what is that a regular coin? I think that is a regular coin. Very hard to tell, but the map, the map tells all. Uh, will this open this? I don't actually know. Yeah, it does. Okay, nice. Temperance, unfortunately, isn't what we need right now. Oh, he got me. He got me. That was kind of sneaky. We are kind of blasting through the floors at the minute, I realize. We haven't really been checking secret rooms or anything. I kind of feel like we've got a good setup. Also, that's our first scratch card since we got uh, the crumpled thingy, so... Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Maybe it just gives you way more luck with them. I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. Don't really need him, so I'll just plop him down there. Oh, shit, you're still in there. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, we got a tinted treasure room here. Oh, I'd only have one. I, I, I put a key in it, then immediately realized I only had one key. That'll probably be tinted sad onion, which is really good. So I'd like to get another key for that, please. If you would, game. See blue play. That's an interesting little room design there. 
The fact that they can't shoot across the middle there is kind of interesting too. Wouldn't have expected that. Secret room holds. Just some pills, unfortunately. Right, one more key is all I need. See if I can buy one from the shop, I guess. It'll definitely be Sad Onion. But yeah, the Sad Onion, it takes away fire rate in exchange for um, damage up that fades when killing enemies, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, I don't have a key to get into the shop. I thought I'd already been into the shop. No. Um... Damn. I think we're out of luck here. I think we're hot and fresh out of luck. Ah, uh, we could definitely go to the cash room, though. The cash room's definitely available to us. We got a holy mantle for doing that. Not really what we needed, but saved us a half heart on the way out, I guess. Right. Ah, oh, I should have left that red heart on the floor, actually. Hmm. I guess I could play you. Wait, okay. We could do this. Let's play you. Try and get a key out of you. Probably better to suck that up, but a luck upgrade is nice. I'm going to bomb you and see if you give us a key. No. Damn! Tainted treasure room. Why you got to be like this? Why you got to be like this? Ooh. Ooh, we've got um, Champion Hornfell, the poison variation. And a ra rather difficult room layout for him, too, by the looks of it. With the amount of poison in here, as well as the um, the cramped room space. Seems like one that could be pretty tough. Although, he has kind of screwed himself there. I'll give him a little bit of uh, breathing room. I know it makes my life easier, but I've got shielded to uh, Harder, sorry, but I've got shielded to so I don't mind. Really cool variation of this boss. Ah, I got poisoned. Ah, I got hit. Oh, damn. He is teleporting around. So, we did get an angel deal here. Rather nice. Seraphim again? I don't know. Uh, okay, let's let's take you out and we'll, uh, we'll void him. Up. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I'll take Seraphim because I've got BFF. And then I'll void up the, uh, the key piece. Seraphim BFF is pretty worthwhile. Hey, a key, a key. A key for me. More damage. Um... Okay, nice. Didn't lose the burn heart. Right. Now we can go and get our tainted treasure room item, which should be... Oh, no. Interesting. It's different. It's not what I was expecting at all. Um, Tears gain 50% damage increase and turn a random color when they pass through enemy projectiles. That sounds awesome. Okay. So now we don't have the protection available to us, but what we do have is the ability to gain more damage. I was fully expecting Sad Onion to be the one that we got uh, the tainted variety of. But well, that's really, really cool. You're inconvenient. Anyways, down we go. Really cool. Really cool indeed. Really quite very cool. Okay, so basically, whenever we pass through enemy projectiles, we're going to get a damage up, which... I think right now, in room clearing and such, isn't going to be that good. Although, by the way, Seraphim is going to be ace. Seraphim BFF is going to be so good. Um, isn't going to be that great, but I think on bosses, especially Mother, that's going to be particularly quite saucy. I feel like that's going to be something that we, we very much like. Ow. Spoilers. No thank you with the spoilers. Oh, what's in the uh, thingy room there? One second, one second. What's up here? Didn't check this. I think I should take this. We did get a scratch card out of it as well. Nice. I like the fact that they change color as well so you can see which ones have the higher damage. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. That's really good. I, I really like that. Solve's obviously not always going to be useful, but a lot of the time it is. 
I'll leave these, um, I'll leave these thingy keys, charge keys, in case I need them. Because I'm going to get regular keys fairly often anyways. Oh god. It has to be this curse on this room, doesn't it? I actually will pop that real quick. Um, and this, I don't know where to use this exactly, but do you know what? I'll just put it. I'll, I'll just pop it there. Why not? Charge key there as well. Oh god, that's a difficult, difficult situation I was put in there. It's okay. Oh, they're so huge. Okay, I don't really know what the crumpled ticket's doing. Because it's not making them all into scratch cards. And it doesn't seem to be increasing my luck with the scratch cards. I probably should have read it, shouldn't I? Probably should have read what it did. That would have been a good idea. Even my mini Isaacs are, like, doing a hella good job. Golden bomb. I love the fact they can upgrade things to gold. That's so good. This is definitely an active I'm willing to soak up here. Not that I can pick up trinkets, but still. <laughs> I love the fact that, like, these bosses that, like, throw bombs at you can still be damaged by bombs, like, very, very easily. I, I, it kind of makes sense, but also it's like, eh, maybe they should have some resistance to bombs. GB bug. Um, I think we're better off sucking, so let me go back over to one of our uh, charged keys over here and grab one of them. I'll leave the other one just in case. I might not end up using it, but I'm, it's whatever. I mean, actually, no, I can... Oh, no, no, no. I was going to say I could cook, yeah, suck up Guppy's paw, but that's actually a terrible idea, isn't it? We don't want to be using that every time he's our active. That's not very useful to us at all. Right, we'll get to see what the other item was and be disappointed. It was Mask of Infamy. I would have liked to have had Mask of Infamy, I'll be honest. Oh, wait. What? Uh, fuck. Do we have a second trinket slot? Excuse me? I'm confused. <laughs> we picked up that trinket. And I'm not quite sure what happened with it. This is a really rough room. Not not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan of that room. That's rough. I just don't understand it. It's just my feeble brain. Okay. We are good to go. Not too bad of a boss fight. Consolation prize should give us range. Yeah. Not great, but hey, hey her. Probably should have sucked it up. Anyways, we will make our way down. Um, keep it going. It's going pretty well. I think for Mother, we're pretty set. Damage-wise, we're looking really good. Damage-wise, we are looking very good indeed. Thank you for upgrading my pennies. Excuse me, this is a very bizarre situation we're in here. No thank you. Okay. So, if I use this, can I pick this up? It just deletes it, I guess? <laughs> it just eats trinkets? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Go back and pause on the description and let me know what it does, people. Because I can't remember. I'm confused by this. Maybe, like, eating trinkets increases our odds? I don't know. 
Obsessed fan, you, you tricked me. Cares Penny, I don't think so. Damage and shot, uh, speed and shot speed, sorry. This is intriguing. Oh, this is an interesting little room. I like this. Ooh. Angel and Teleport and Star of Bethlehem. A very, very useful item for us here. Especially for the mother fight. Nine lives? I guess I'll take. We've already got one guppy. Oh, wait. So, maybe we are holding the trinket then. Because I picked up the guppy thing and we got the guppy trinket and we got guppy there. So maybe it counts? They don't have another guppy item, right? Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm confused. I need to pick up a penny to see. No, so Chaos Penny's effect isn't active. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thoroughly confused. Oh, we got Eternal version of this mum. I can never remember what the Eternal version of this one does. All I know is it's probably going to make it a lot harder. But we killed it very quickly, so it's fine. Got our knife piece. We take the negative. Pop in here real quick, and we can blow you up. Yeah, with Guppy, we're definitely set. We're definitely good to go, especially when we get more damage there. One thing that is unfortunate, which is, is understandable but unfortunate about um, the Eternal Champions mod, is... Oh, whoa, 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 my health is bad right now. Oh, damn. My health is really bad. Is unfortunately, it obviously isn't like a... It is, it is like a full resprite of the boss, which means that if you have, like, custom sprites, if you have, like, resprited bosses, it's not going to use those resprites and apply, like, a white filter to it or whatever. It is going to be its own sprite, which is, like, fine for the most part, but it is a little sad if you have, like, a really cool resprite to see it overtaken. But at the same time, I understand it's a problem you can't really get around easily, and I'm not going to expect the developers to try and get around it, to be honest. I'm a little worried now about my current health situation. I have to admit, I didn't expect to have this much of an issue with my HP right now. I got hit a lot on those last few runes, but then again, it should be okay. We took nine lives and lost like two hearts for that, so kind of why, I think. We're kind of speeding through here, though. Oh, that was a really bad hit. I kind of have to play this out, don't I? Come on, one soul heart. Or curved horn. One soul heart. Okay, so... What's curved horn going to do? It did briefly give me the damage, and then it disappeared. So it does just eat them. Interesting. Now, now to think about this. Right. Keep you in our radius real quick. You are getting massacred, my sir. There you go. Very nice. HP there is very, very welcome. Okay, last floor. I probably should just stick with my Star of Bethlehem, regardless of it taking longer. Just because it gives us the Mask of Infamy effect, and obviously means clearing rooms is significantly easier. It'll also take us the exact right way as well, so... I think BFF is buffing this, but I don't know how. I don't know if it means the stat increase is better, or the... the speed of it moving is better or the radius that it has is better i'm not sure really where it lies in terms of its usefulness with bff because it definitely is bigger right it looks bigger to me but yeah i think we are gonna 
absolutely demolish mother. Gives us plus 8.75 fire rate. That's insane. And the fact that fire rate uh, plus the damage it gives us equates to our guppy is kind of insane too. You watch it not even work. You watch it go straight into this room and then just sit there and not come through to the fight. I actually think that that might be the case, you know. I can't remember if it comes through with you. But I feel like it's not going to, is it? Come on, please. You little shithead. That's so unfair. What's the point? I mean, we're still going to shit on you. But I'm still annoyed. We just gotta be careful because we we can die in this fight if we if we take too many uh, yeah too many bad hits. But one great thing is we do get holy mantle every now and again when we get hit, as we just did there. So that's gonna give us like two or three additional hits available to to us really. I'm trying to utilize bombs when I can here for that extra damage that doesn't uh, that ignores boss armor. Beautiful. There you go. That's all she wrote. What a run. Also, our character is looking awesome. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Fun little run there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.